massive tree. Wow. Hey there, it is um, Thursday, July 13th. It's a little after 9 a.m. and we are at 1902. Like we've gone over 1900 miles, so that's very cool. Um, I started out this morning, um, it took a while to just come up to this piece because uh, it's just like a straight up section, but um, I have no idea how far I'm gonna go today. It's um, kind of dependent on the weather and the terrain. And I'm just, I've brought enough food for like four to five days. So if I need it, I'll take it. And um, this section is like 30 miles to get to um, like Grafton Notch in Maine. So about 15, 14, 15 more miles and we'll be in Maine. We'll be out of New Hampshire. So that's also very, very cool. Um, this section that we're going to be doing is the Mahusik section. So um, tomorrow or the next day we'll be doing Mahusik Notch, which is the hardest mile on the Appalachian Trail. So, um, I had, hold on, my hand was getting tired. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that it's been like almost three days since I've been on trail, mainly because, um, I took a knee row and then a zero just because, and then I ended up needing to take one more day off because I've been having some like tingling in my arms and my fingers waking me up at nighttime. And so I did like a teledoc appointment and they think it's like a pinch nerve in my neck. Um, so I got some medication and just took yesterday just to kind of decide if I could continue or not. And I, and I believe I can. And so I'm going to, so I very much want to finish at least this section, which will be like 30 miles. And then I'll be, um, done with this piece. And then I will only have 267 miles left. So I would very much like to finish this section of the trail before I do go home. And then I'm gonna come back because I have a vacation already planned with my family for the 1st of August. So I'm gonna go do that and then I'll come back on the trail. So I'm not sure how long I'm gonna to get to stay out. You know, it's just gonna kind of all be dependent upon the weather, upon the terrain, upon how I feel. So um, I'm just enjoying these next days and taking my time and uh, just wanna enjoy it, you know, because, um, time is precious. So anyway, I just wanted to catch you guys up on my life and what I'm doing and why it took me so long to come back out. But I am here and oh my goodness, you can definitely tell when you've been off trail for even three days, two and a half days. It was like, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> you know, but I'm also carrying a lot more food than I normally do. So um, my pack is heavier than it has been because I had just like wiped it completely out when I got to New Hampshire sent everything home that gave me joy basically my hammock all that cool stuff so it was really light and now it's a little bit heavier than normal just because of the food situation so anyway that's what's happening in my life um i will let you know what's happening we have about 1.4 miles i think to get up to the top of i think this is called mount hayes um i'll double check that and let you know when we get there uh all right talk to you soon Bye bye So this is what it looks like today that we're walking on. It's a little bit different from what we've been experiencing. I guess the closer we get to Maine, the more rugged it will get. It's a bit rooty, but I'll take this any day, you know that, over what we have been experiencing. Well, that, I think this is deer moss. It's so pretty underneath the trees. So we are at like a false summit of Mount Hayes, but over there, this is Mount Washington and Madison, and then going south, so that's southwest, going south, this I believe is um, the Carter, is that right? Carter Mariah that we did, um, and right here is a corn, which is pointing our way, which is very helpful. 
So um, we have to go up just a little bit more and then we'll get to a junction, then we'll go down. But um, it's kind of cool up here right now and it hasn't rained yet, but you can see the sky is thinking about raining. And I'm like, don't think about it. Let's not do it today. Today's not a good day. <laughs> so I came up coming this direction and then we have this car and you can see the blaze it's saying that you're supposed to turn and so now we're going this way and we have the blaze and another car and another car and another so that's very nice and helpful thank you very much for whoever did that i was just about to just keep on walking and then i was like what am i doing i'm on top of a summit fall summit but it's a rocky ledge and it's been so rare to get to sit up on one of these and just enjoy the sunshine, which is shining down. So I'm gonna take a break and um, maybe have a snack, but definitely get something to drink and then I'll start going. So this is one of the benefits of doing the hike is stopping and enjoying the moment. So that's what I'm doing. I hope you guys are enjoying your moments. <laughs> okay, so we made it up to where we have a junction and we're going to the right on the Mahusik Trail. And we, I'm planning to camp in between one of these two places. I think it'd be great if I could get to Gentian Pond campsite. Um, but I think there's another one. Hold yeah. on, on my, on my information, it says it's Gentian Pond Shelter. So if I can make it there, that'd be cool, especially if it does start raining, but I don't know. Um, it's around noon right now, and I am just literally enjoying this moment, enjoying this time, taking my time. <laughs> so we're going to go this way and find our way down, and then we have another up uh, for sure. And it's just basically some rock slabs, which I think might be a little difficult, but we're just going to take them one step at a time. And it's actually 11.28 a.m. It's not noon, so that's even better. So I don't know. We'll just see where we end up today. All right. All right, so in this section, some of the comments say you have to follow the orange uh, ribbon around the trees, but I also see a blaze down there, which is helpful. Uh, they just said that, you know, there, there were parts where maybe the maintenance hadn't been done, but um, my plan is just to follow the little orange <laughs> as much as I can. And then I also, what I do is I look to see if I see any other um, like holes made by tracking poles, you know, or, or footprints, things like that. I'm trying to be a tracker, you know, to make sure that I'm on the right path um, as much as possible. I'm like literally body, craw body, body crawling up this steep ledge thing. And then I just stood up and I looked up and isn't that just pretty? So, so gorgeous. Woohoo. Okay, I gotta get back on our floors. <laughs> I gotta get back on all fours and continue clamoring up. This is where we're going. Okay, I made it up. Woo! That was like steep. Okay, let me show you some cool stuff. Okay, face, facing this way, it's looking out over Mount Hayes to the Carter Mariah Range. So that's south. And if we go this direction, this is southwest. Ignore the gray cloud. I'm trying really hard to ignore it. But that's the presidential range in Gorham. I think in that valley. And then southeast over here, that's the Androscoggin River, I think, something like that. Anyway, it's over there. So um, I'm going to try to sit up here and take a lunch break if the weather holds out. Okay, I decided to get out of the open ledge just in case that bad weather did decide to come. But um, I have way too much food, so I've got to try to eat something. But I have a sandwich in here that I got the other day from this place called the Butcher's Daughter. And I think I'm gonna have that and some chips and maybe these little mandarin oranges or some gushers. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, just take a break for a little bit. Um, after this section, I actually still have to go up for a bit but there's no view or anything like that. And then um, then I'll end up eventually on a down. There are all these, so many 
ants right here. Hopefully they won't come and interrupt my lunch. Um, sorry, I just got distracted by, there were just so many. Um, so I do need to take a break. So that's what I'm gonna do. And um, it's still a really pretty day. I'm enjoying it. It hasn't been a bad, bad day at all. So um, hopefully knock on wood, it'll continue to be a good day. All right, I'll check in with you guys later. I'm gonna eat lunch. Look at that big frog. It's ginormous. All right, so this is our path right now. It's a tad overgrown. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that I don't see any slithery anacondas or anything like that. And the wind has picked up. So I'm um, not a fan of that happening but just gonna keep on. We have half a mile to this next view, then we get to go down. So that's what I'm looking forward to. All right, we made it up to this view and we have um, a really great view ourselves of the Carter Mariah range. We're looking south right now. And the wind has picked up and y'all can see so I'm not gonna stay up here too, too long, but it does, it actually feels nice. And it's so great we have a view. Okay, I just want y'all to listen, okay? What is that noise? And now it stopped. I think it has to be a bird. So we've come to a junction. If I go left, that goes to the Trident something campsite. But I don't want to do that because it's only a little after three. I'd like to get to the Gentian Pond campsite and shelter, but it's like five miles. Um, not so sure, especially because look at this down that we're doing right now. So I think it's going to probably end up being somewhere between 2.7 and 5. One of these two. Because um, I would like to not be hiking at nighttime. And I've had a great day so far, and I'd like it to continue. So, I don't know, somewhere between basically two and a half and five is what I think I'm looking at. We're on another rocky outcropping, and we have another view. So, I'm just going to record all of them. Since we have had to use our imagination so many times the past couple of days, or the past few weeks with views, today we can just truly use our eyeballs. So that's awesome. The little blueberry bushes, I've been eating some of them and they're so yummy. But what I've decided is I think I'm gonna try to go a mile and a half up and then camp out near this place called The Ledge. Um, unless I get there super, super fast and then I can go down to the shelter, but I'm just not wanting to push it today, you know? So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna follow this carn and go this way. This is Page Pond. I just think it's so amazing when you see ponds like this up on top of a mountain. And it, I think it connects to like Ledmire Brook or something like that. I just, I think it's so pretty. All right, we're gonna continue on. I think we have 0.6 to go, I believe, to where I think I'm gonna stop for the night. And I kinda wanna go there just because it's supposed to have a beautiful sunset. So hopefully if the rain holds off, it'll be pretty. What I just showed you was the tiny part. Look at this. Isn't that just so beautiful? Wow, I am so lucky to get to see this kind of stuff. Okay, made it up to the top. I don't know where I am, but I made it up to the top of it and it was just so windy. I just didn't feel like it was safe, you know, to camp there. So I'm going down and then up and then a down and there's a pond 
and supposedly at the pond there's um, two campsites um, so that's a mile away or I could continue on to that shelter which is 3.1 miles away um, it's six o'clock and I really would prefer to take the first campsite that I see you know so as long as it's safe so I think I'm just gonna sit here for like three minutes five minutes take a break oh god look at that cloud maybe two minutes and then <laughs> keep on going um, I just didn't feel like it was safe up here to camp unfortunately it would have been a really cool sunset though but um, anyway that's the status Gladys <laughs> I did end up stopping at that Dream Lake and it was so pretty and found a really great campsite where I was protected all night long from the weather and um, went almost 10 miles this day. So it was a fantastic, awesome, incredible day. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it.